So what the heck is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 12th MongoDB tutorial in which I'm going to show you what post modif no no not post actually what push modifier is and uh, what this modifier does is that it adds an array to your document and if it does not exist obviously and if it does exist then it adds the elements associated with that to the last of it well let's just see that in action so I'm just gonna say that this is uh, DB dot uh, new collection dot uh, um, add actually insert not add and this would be name mehu right so if I build this you can see that it's just added and let say db dot new collection dot like that and then what I want to do is say db dot new collection dot update right and the criteria is that name is meho and once that's done what happens is that I want to add another array field right so what I'm gonna do is make use of this push and now what I'm gonna say is that this would be foods I like and uh, this would contain things like favorite food as uh, pizza right and uh, not so favorite as uh, um, what should I write there let's just write something like that All right so now this would be appended as an array right so if I just build this thing and uh, inside my terminal or shell you can see that it is actually an array a sort of and this is an object and whatever you do now with this thing push and then this one it would be appended to this array right so if I just change it to like wow this and then I say true and then build this and build this one as well you can see that this thing is appended to this array right it's not prepended it's appended it's at the last not at the first right so well why the heck is that is it useful then well you can actually make use of this to kind of create your own you know what you call that as a set right the set a set is sort of something which would uh, you know not add a value if it already exists in the array like it would not actually give you an error but it would just ignore that if it already exists for example like uh, you need to add a ne modifier as well with this like if I add uh, something like uh, ne and let me just get rid of these quotes and get them in quotes and say here mehu right so now what's happening that is it's just looking for mehu and then if it's if it's present then it would it won't add if it isn't then it would so if I now build this and run it right here you can see that uh, this object already did exist so it is not added again right but if I get rid of this thing right so if I just simply write mehu and build this you can see that it's added two times now right so that's that's a kind of you know you can say an application like you can just pass in something like that and uh, it kind of saves your day you don't have to do a lot of stuff because Mongo would just take care of all the duplicates so that is how pretty much you make use of the push and you can actually just make use of something known as add to set as well which we will just take a look later on but for now 
I guess push is something clear and uh, yeah so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one real quick